Good afternoon. Today is Monday, July 24th. The time right now in Singapore is 12.36 in the afternoon. And uh, now we're going to do a bit of recap as to what uh, markets has been doing last Friday. We see that U.S. equity markets continue to stay sidelined. Uh, basically, the market is taking profit ahead of this week's uh, FOMC meeting, which is the Federal Open Market Committee, in which the Federal Reserve is going to decide uh, if it's going to hike rates, pause, or even cut rates. But market has already priced in almost 100% chance that the Federal Reserve is going to hike rates by a quarter point. And this is already been priced into the market. So unless the market surprises, uh, it is highly unlikely to move the markets. What's important is that the Federal Reserve Chairman is going to talk to us as to what he thinks is going to happen for the balance of the year. Because last month in June, he actually told us that there's going to be two more rate hikes for the balance of the year. So if we consider this week's uh, one rate hike of quarter point, that means the market only is looking towards perhaps at most one more rate hike and that will be the end of the year and the market is pricing in this as a positive for equity markets so we will have to see whether that is the case going forward now in the Dow Jones itself we can see Dow Jones actually traded to a high last week at 35,372.77 now this price is actually very very rich because within the technical point I do believe this area is actually very vulnerable to the sell side I believe right now the market does appear to be favoring the counter trend trade here uh, anytime the market trades between 35,233 to 35 5,825. I think that is a great level to position short. I have already uh, uh, gone short the market and I'm just taking this uh, for a very short term retracement or what we call a correction. Near term target is somewhere around 33,600. I have an alternate target at 32,600 levels. So both levels could be uh, achievable uh, if we do see a sustained correction. So we will have to watch out for that. Okay. In the meantime, the S&P 500 is again at a new high for the year at 4,578.43. Again, this is the same level as what I could I would consider the market to be vulnerable. Uh, so long as the market stays within 4,548 to 4,637.3, I think that market is actually vulnerable to profit taking. And if that's the case, we could see a technical pullback. And uh, right now, my immediate target for a, any kind of pullback is uh, temporary at 4385 with an alternate target at 4330 levels so do watch out for any one of these two levels to be hit if we do see a sustained uh, retracement in the NASDAQ, we do not have a classical retracement yet but a market high is 15,932.05 and uh, this is where the market is becoming very interesting because towards the last two days of trading for last week we see that the NASDAQ actually pulled back a lot deeper than the Dow Jones or even the S&P 500 and also today July 24th is going to be the day in which they are going to re uh, balance the component stocks that make up the NASDAQ 100 because we have seen this year that most of the tech stocks uh, that rally has taken the index itself for both the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ 100 uh, to a high levels when the other component stocks are not really doing very much. So we have a uh, undue uh, weightage favoring the tech stocks. So now they are going to re, uh, rebalance those mega cap stocks to make sure that the index itself represents, is more representative of the component stocks uh, market activity. So this could have a material impact on the valuation of the index itself. So we will have to see how this all going to pan out. Nobody has any idea because we have never seen such a thing before uh, in the middle of nowhere, they want to rebalance the index itself. So if we do a sustain Correction, immediate target obviously is at 14,924 uh, with an alternate target at 14,690 thereabout. So do watch out for a potential correction going into this week FOMC meeting. Now over in Asia, we can see that Hang Seng Index is basically uh, coming off this morning as we are speaking. The market has actually bounced off 18,280 levels, but it couldn't sustain. So right now, the, there are two possibilities. Uh, one possibility is that the market continue to edge higher towards the 20,000 levels. The other is that the market will come down and test the 18,000 levels. And if this level is taken up, then obviously the market is going to go lower. However, if the market do come down first, I think that will be a possible buying position. Uh, 18,044 to uh, so what? Uh, 18,285, I would think that would be a great level to consider a very speculative long position, hoping the market will rebound from there. And uh, if the trade doesn't work out, the risk is actually very, very small. Just remember the Hang Seng is in a bear market. So ideally we want to be selling rather than buying, but there are times it makes sense to go counter trend. And this could be one of those 
uh, situation in which it may pay to actually trade the counter trend itself. Now in the Shanghai Composite Index, we can see that this morning we have a bit of a rebound from a low point. The market went up to as low as uh, 3,151, very, very close to the low that we saw uh, at the beginning uh, in the middle of July itself. So the low traded so far is 3,144.4 and uh, it appears that the market is testing this level and we will have to see whether this level can actually hold. If the market take out 3,144, uh, obviously the market is going to go much lower and uh, this is something that we will have to watch. Again, the Shanghai Composite Index is very much like the Hang Seng, which is in a bear market. So do watch out for from time to time, we're going to see counter trend opportunity. Whether it pans out or not, that it will be another story. And uh, let's go into the uh, uh, currencies itself. Okay, let's look at currency. We can see currency uh, in terms of the dollar index. We can see dollar index has actually gone down. And we can see that uh, last week we have a bit of a rebound. Now, this rebound right now is very tentative. I do expect it to come back down again. Now, this is the cash index. Let me show you the futures equivalent, which is this futures contract here. Uh, it's showing that the market right now is at 100.93. And this level is actually quite ideal for a sell. Uh, I do expect the market to go down and take out 99.22, uh, perhaps uh, targeting uh, somewhere around 98 perhaps okay uh, so watch out for uh, another dip in the dollar index itself so if you are too late in the game and you think that the risk reward doesn't make sense then of course you have the option to stand aside and watch this development and for those who still want to add position right now where the market is trading it's actually offering us a fantastic level to go short uh, uh, however uh, risk reward is another story altogether okay and uh, in the euro dollar, we can see the euro dollar is also coming off from the high that we saw last week at 112.75. And in the near term, I do expect the market to bounce a little bit. Let me show you the four hours time frame. Four hours time frame coming up. And we can see that the market is possibly looking to bounce a little bit. If I think the market can bounce, I would think I would like to sell. Uh, the market right now, uh, high is at 112.75 and the lower traded uh, on friday was 111.08 and if we do get a bounce back to 111.70 to 111.90 i think that level will offer a somewhat uh, of a selling opportunity and you if you are of the mind that you want to sell you can look forward for perhaps a move down to the 109.55 levels to perhaps as low as 108.80 so this will be the breakout of prices for my target if i'm going to sell at 111.70 over in sterling is the same thing if the market do get a bounce from where we are right now at 128.16 then the market may have a potential to rally all the way to 130 to 130.20 and that level will be comfortable for me to actually take a short and my target is 126 there about in Aussie dollars uh, Aussie is a bit of a dilemma because the market have pulled back from 0 0.69 there about and it's unfolding in a three wave so there is not much of an opportunity here so I do not want to buy this because for some reason I think the dollar may actually uh, be trading a little bit softer so but I'm not so sure about the Aussie dollars in the meantime I have a target at 0 0.6670 to 0 0.670 or two and uh, if the market do dip into this level you can try to buy but i won't be taking my chance with aussie at least not this round i have better fish to catch okay in the dollar versus the yen this is where i want to be in dollar yen has rebounded from 137.25 all the way to almost 142 over the weekend and now the market is within this bracket of prices between 140.115 to 142.10 this level is actually quite ideal for a sell because i do expect the market to go down below 137.25 and then perhaps going as low as 120 132.30 to 134.10 so we have a bit of a move here and i think this will be a much better trade compared to the aussie market if you don't have a view on the Aussie, I think it's best to stay, just stay aside and watch. Now, the other currency pair you can consider is this dollar versus Canadian. I think the market is bouncing up from 130.90, perhaps in a three wave rally towards 132.70 to as high as 133 even. So this level will be a much better, uh, much more comfortable level to engage the market on the short side. And this market may have a chance to go down way below 130, 130.90 that we saw last week. Okay. Now in the energy markets we can see that crude oil uh, has rebounded back to $77.29 it couldn't take out the previous high here which was last traded on July 7, uh, 14 at $77.33 so right now of course we are not ruling out the possibility of another rally into this ideal target here 
of my original target for the long side is actually at seventy eight dollars and twenty two cents to eighty dollars and ninety two cents. However, if the market fail to go up and start coming down, I think that will be an area for us to actually consider doing a buy here. Uh, I think that will be a much better level. Okay, right now there is no indicative uh, uh, pricing here, but I think somewhere around seventy three dollars and eighty four cents, which was the last low here traded on July the seventeenth, that could give us a little bit of a base here to consider. But again, if you do not want to do this trade, it's understandable. Uh, I may not want to do this trade for now. I just want to watch how it's going to pan out. Now, in the gold itself, gold actually picked at $1,987.42 last week and it has been coming down. And if we do get a bit of a bounce back into $1,972 to $1,975.50 there about, I think that will be a great level to position a counter trend trade. Although the market has been rallying from $1,892, I think the market is doing a pull back ideally in a three wave ma uh, manner to test 1945 40 cents okay this will be a much better level to re-enter the market on the long side in my opinion but in the meantime i think the market wants to come off so let's see whether it can bounce a little bit for us to actually get it on the short side for a short term trade towards 1945 over in the silver market we can see silver is also coming off as we are speaking right now the market is trading at $24.57 but the high traded was so far is $25.27 so basically I think the market may actually continue to edge lower uh, ideally I want to see a three-way pullback possibly possibly uh, targeting somewhere around here uh, at $24.10 so let's see if this actually pans out okay now in the Bitcoin side, we can see Bitcoin has not been doing very much, but it does look like it might come off a little bit. Previously, I did mention the low here at uh, 29,625 uh, is the low that for this trade market may actually take out this low momentarily. I'm actually positioning a trade uh, for a long here. And this is what I think is likely to happen. We have an erect irregular three wave here so i think the market may be somewhere in between here to look for a buy position so let's see if this is actually what it's going to do uh, because the market is primed to trade higher in my opinion okay so let's see and uh, let me let, let me position this price label here okay the high trader is 31,875.5 okay over in ethereum we see that the market is also flatlining uh, near term support likely to be somewhere here at $1,820, it may actually drift lower and test this level going forward. But overall, I think the Ethereum is also looking to go higher. Let's see whether this one level here at $1,820 can actually hold and provide some kind of buying uh, 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 entry level here. In the meantime, this is all I have for you. In the meantime, do know that this week highlight will be the FOMC meeting, which is going to happen on Thursday morning at 2 a.m. Singapore time. So do watch out for that because today we have a slew of uh, PMI, which are the Purchasing Managers Index for Germany, for Eurozone, for United States, for, for UK. So we're going to see a slew of uh, PMI numbers can be released today, starting with the uh, Germany and Eurozone this afternoon. So this will be something that you want to watch if you are having an active position. Okay, guys, thank you very much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.